Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I want to talk about some things. You know, it's my it's my channel. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk. I love you, by the way. Thank you for being here. I was noticing a lot of my videos lately have been like inside, like inside Dharma. When I do them, and to be honest, I'm outdoors. Basically, all my videos are pretty much outdoors. So, and outdoors is Mother Nature, and she is fickle. And like right now, the wind's blowing pretty good. I gotta tell you, I love the desert. I do. It's fast. You can look and see forever. I like that. So, if you're a claustrophobic, go to the desert and just give it a try and see what it's. I mean, it's harsh. It's not all the trees, but it's uh, it's uh, it's mystical. I'm a romantic, but I also like seeing things coming a mile away too. <laughs> and if you're claustrophobic, man, you go in the desert and you're, it's wide open. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> I always like doing videos, but I don't want to talk about me so much. I want to talk about you and how amazing you are. And it's funny because I I was thinking about those videos that people do after they die, and then all, everybody sits in the room and is it it's kind of creepy and I thought about that nowadays all videos are eventually you're gonna be like that because you're gonna see somebody that you know that passed I've known people that have passed and it sucks but you're gonna see videos of them eventually I'll go to and then these videos will be for my grandkids and anybody else wants to watch them. but yeah so it's important to, to be careful not show your ass too much and try to make your words as wise as possible and as loving For example, I would simply say that the fact that you are able to walk and talk and still function in society after all the crap that has been put on you makes you mighty, makes you a wonder to behold. You should be proud of yourself. And if you're feeling it, then it's for you. Because you know when you get, people, when people have been the underdog their whole life and something good finally happens. You know they give back. You know they don't just forget about that lesson. They usually end up being very caring and generous to, to their communities. I hope one day to be rich and be able to do the same thing. We'll see. I'm really, I'm, I'm really scared about whatever. Because when you got no money and you, if your only survival is throwing your ass out there, <laughs> thank God I don't have the hook yet, right? I don't know if I'm that pretty. My buddy James, God bless him. He's a He's a famous hobo in my world. He's like one of my friends that would just take backpack cross country and just be homeless. And I thought that was amazing. You know, he got balls, dude. He just the courage to just to have nothing and just walk, go. I admire people like that. It's scary. I'm new at this. I've been I've been homeless for a year or outdoors or full time traveling. But I'm still getting used to it. It's still scary. Some levels. But it's what it is. It's life. I'm a, I'm a recluse anyway, so this kind of forces me to get out of my comfort zone and have to talk to people and be around people. And what better way to get a recluse to get out in the open and make themselves art? Yeah, there's a there's a place. There's free camping in Chiraco. Summit on the south side of, of Joshua Tree. There's a Patton Museum, George Patton, you know, the general. He's a museum for him there. That was kind of cool. I admire that guy. Yeah, he was a he was a warrior. He was a poet, and he also believed in past lives. Very hip for that age. Trust me, in the 40s, that was that was progressive. Anyway. Um, uh, I'm gonna see about making my way down there maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm taking my time. I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to be very careful with my resources. Put it that way. So I'm I'm at a snail's crawl. But yeah, I gotta plan every inch. Anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe loves you. I want you to have a wonderful day.